Hey, it's John from Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're going to go over the math section of the HESI A2 exam. We're going to go over each and every topic that's on the math section and go over a lot of the types of questions that you'll see so that you can be fully prepared for what you need to be studying. And that's the goal of this video, is to give you an idea of the exact topics to study so that you don't have to worry about what's on the test, what's not on the test, and kind of leave you guessing so that you end up studying things that aren't on the test or not studying things that are on the test. So that's what we want to do for you here. Uh, before we get into all these different topics, I want to make sure that if you guys like the video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of HESI videos coming out in the next few weeks, and I want to make sure that you guys are getting notified when those videos come out. Also, in the description, you will find links to a lot of helpful resources. The first one is to our HESI Facebook study group. And there's thousands of students in there who all have kind of similar questions that you have. We're answering those questions and we're providing and sharing all the different resources that we're using to prepare for and pass for the exam. It's an awesome community and I want you to be a part of it. So make sure you click that link and join the group. You will also see links to a free HESI A2 practice test. It's a full length timed exam. It's very similar to the actual test that you'll take. So it's a great way to practice if you're just getting started. You wanna find out what your weak areas are. You can use that practice test to help identify that and the scored report that it provides. Or if you're getting ready to take the test, uh, the actual test, you can use this practice test to get an idea of where you stand and if you're ready or not. So those are helpful resources. And then you will also see links to the Smart Edition Academy online course, practice test packs, study guides, and lots of other helpful resources. So check out the links in those descriptions. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the math section of the test is gonna be 50 questions in 50 minutes. So this gives you about one minute to answer each question and this can definitely be a challenge. You need to be able to work through these questions as fast as possible to solve the problems and move on to the next one. Um, you know, things like word problems can be a challenge because you need to read that word problem, pull out the numbers and create a, an equation that you need to solve and you need to be able to do that quickly. So really practicing and practicing and practicing is the best way in math to get better. And so that's what our practice tests are about. And again, you know, the online courses have test banks with like thousands of questions. So you can check that out if you want to get more of that practice, but that's going to be key to doing well on the math section. Uh, now, you will need to be prepared because there are different versions of the test. And just because you had a friend that got a temperature conversion question doesn't mean that you will. So you really need to know all of these topics that we're going to go over. Now, you will have a calculator provided to you on the screen. Uh, you don't need to bring a calculator. You'll have one provided to you. And the three big topics that we're going to cover, we're going to talk about, but these are the three big topics are kind of the elephants of uh, this section of the HESI exam. And that's going to be fractions, ratios and proportions, and word problems. Those are the uh, three areas that you're going to see the most questions for. So another tip is that you will have a piece of scratch paper if you want it. And what you can do is once you get that and you start the test, the first thing you can do is start to write down a few conversions that might help you like, Fahrenheit to Celsius or that one mile equals 1,760 yards and things like that so that you can be ready to calculate when you get those questions. You'll just kind of have your handy cheat sheet there. So when it comes to the topics on the test, we'll go through all of these. And the first one we're going to touch is uh, basic addition and subtraction. I'm not really going to go into it. It's pretty self-explanatory. We should all know how to do that by now. Uh, you'll also see basic multiplication and division. Again, things that we have learned in high school, and this is really all high school level math, but this can get a little tricky if you have signed multiplication and division, so kind of be familiar with that. Uh, you will need to know your order of operations. You will see a lot of questions on your PEMDAs. That's uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, and that is the order that you should be solving any particular uh, uh, equation. Uh, people use mnemonics like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember that. Uh, but you know, however it works for you, just make sure that you know those order of operations and how to solve problems in that order. Decimals and fractions are something that you're going to see. So it's things like changing decimals to fractions or converting amongst fractions, uh, decimals, and percentages. Uh, you might be asked to order fractions from least to greatest, um, and you might be asked to divide fractions into decimals, which we just talked about, so that should be easy enough for you. 
Addition and subtraction of fractions is another topic. So subtracting and adding a fraction from a fraction, adding fractions with like denominators, uh, subtracting fractions with like denominators will be things around this topic. Next topic would be multiplication and division of fractions. So that's multiplying a fraction by a fraction, multiplying a fraction by a whole or a mixed number, dividing a fraction by a fraction, and dividing a fraction by a whole or a mixed number. So be familiar with all that and just have your multiplication and division of fractions down pat. Ratios, proportions, and percentages. This one seems to give a lot of people trouble from what we've heard, so uh, make sure that you're studying this. Um, no proportions and how to solve for x. Now we have some other videos uh, on our YouTube channel, but you can just go into our YouTube channel. We've done different group tutoring sessions. I know there's some specific sessions just on ratios, proportions, and percentages with uh, Ashley, who is our math subject matter expert. So you can check those out. Uh, and you know, in this topic, it'll be things like knowing the rates of change with things like uh, increases in speed or mile per hour. You'll get that question about you know a car went this far in this amount of time and, and it'll ask you kind of uh, to uh, do those kinds of rates of change of speed and distance. So equations with one variable, you will see this on the test and there are some different kinds of equations here. You'll see one step linear equations, two step linear equations, multiples or multi-step linear equations and solving linear equations. So be familiar with those, you will see those on the test. Solving real-world mathematical problems. I talked about this a little bit in that this is one of the types of questions that can tend to slow people down as they have to read the question, pull out the information, create an equation, and solve that equation, and make sure that you are solving for the question that is being asked. One common mistake is uh, people don't do that and they solve for questions that are not being actually asked. So you can double check yourself in that way. So we can talk about standards of measure. You will have eight to nine questions out of the 50 uh, questions um, on standards of measure. And you know these are things like uh, length, weight, mass, volume, things like that. So you know as you're going into your nursing school or dental program or whatever it may be, you will need to know the metric system. So it totally makes sense to take the time now to understand the metric system and all these different conversions, length conversion, things like that, because it's something that you're going to use in school and you will also use in your actual job after school. So you're gonna to need to know this stuff either way. So it's not just studying for the HESI, it's, it's something that you're gonna to need to know. So make sure you're very familiar with it. And the last part that we can cover is Roman numerals. So these do show up on the test. You probably won't get too many questions on this. One, if any, uh, one or two, that's about it. Uh, but that, that's it. So this is all the material that's going to be on the math section of the test. It's a lot of topics, but it, this is all stuff that you should have encountered before at one point or another. So hopefully it's just a refresher for you. Now you'll see links to other videos up here for different uh, subject reviews that we've done for the HESI. And like I mentioned, we have a lot of videos coming out. So so make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description, and we'll see you guys on the next video.